Hey guys, it's Dee Dee with Glue Patch Studio. I'm gonna do a little something different today. Okay. Sorry. I'm not, I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was this morning. Make me a little sandwich. Just, you always wanna practice your stitches for sure before you do it on your your piece now this is a small piece so I'm not going to pin it or do anything because I think it will be fine and I might take this out because find my foot pedal That is not what we want on the bottom okay we got to see what's going on here mm. <laughs> show you this see it's not bad on the front but look at this mess on the back. That is what you do not want. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out why. Okay, that's part of it. Your bobbin should not come up out of your hand. You should be able to pull your thread and it lift up from its laying flat to the side, but it really should not lift up out of your hand, which this one's really trying not to. And you just barely have to move that screw. Okay, let's try this. Okay, that's why you always do a piece of A piece of scrap. And another thing I have to be careful about when I'm starting a new project and I haven't used this machine in a while. I have little ones. And if, I'm, if I don't keep my machine covered, I love to turn these dials. Oh, heavens to Betsy. You know, I'm thinking something's going on right here. Let me try that again. Okay. 
Okay, look there. I think we have lift off. Okay, guys, that looks really good. I'm pleased with that. Hmm. Okay. Now, I'm just going to meander, which is that stitch that I was doing around just every which way, being careful not to cross my lines. And I like to start in the middle. Just going back and forth. Weekly, some technical difficulties today okay so I'm not gonna go completely all the way around out uh, to the outside edge because I made it too big Let me get up here where can see. I made it bigger there's the back So, I'm going to put my journal up here and trim it down, however big I need it. And then I'm probably going to um, do a zigzag stitch around the edge just to, to close it up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to want that to be a soft... I don't even know if I want that to be the outside or that to be the outside. I have to put something hard in it to make it stiff, and I probably should have done that. I've never quilted through. Oh, we should try that, huh? Yes, you could have a quilted cover. Be soft. Let me get my... This is what I've got done on the journal so far. I want that for the outside. Or that for the outside. Put lace and all kinds of stuff on it. This seems tougher, like it might be better for the outside. Okay, let me go and trim this up. Okay, guys, we're back at the regular sewing machine now, and I'm just going, I've trimmed it down about the size of my journal, so I'm just going to zigzag around the edge now. Oh, let me get that string out. in the stitches but I like for mine to go over and close that that edge up so I put mine right on the edge because I want it to secure all that it gives it a different look but this might be covered up anyway about making quilts and some covers and put them in my Etsy shop because I know that 
a lot of people probably maybe don't have a sewing machine or whatever they need to make these. I love to sew. This is not my original sewing machine. It's just one I'm having to use for now. My Janome I've had for years just trying to quit me and I'm sad because I love it this is just a little cheaper machine that I used in sewing classes when I was had a, teaching a few sewing classes. And it works great. It's just not like doesn't have all the bells and whistles that my other one had. Just a little bit spoilt, I guess. But it sews really good. It's a Singer Simple. It sews really good. So see, I just wanted to secure that edge. And now we can decide what we want to do with it. All right. Now. I'm going to take a few of the pages out of the journal and stitch around them. I think I'm just going to do a little zigzag stitch around each one of the signature fronts. And let's see how we like that. Hmm. My stitching doesn't look good for some reason. My bobbin is loose. That's a little better, but I still don't like it. Okay, I moved over a little bit on this one. It's not too bad. that gave that a little bit of extra something now okay I'm not gonna do these yet I hope you can see me I'm not gonna do these yet because I may have to trim those down you know as it gets gets fatter before we put it in the signature I might have to trim a smidgen off of those so I think I'm gonna wait 
Um, let's see if we want to do anything else. To... I guess I could go ahead and trim a little off of them and then stitch on them. I'm not sure. I think we might just go work on the inside some. All right, let's do that. Okay, this is what I've, I've done. I, I, I got this done. I did that on camera. Um, I zigzagged around this on camera. I did not put the signatures together and put these pockets that I had made in there. So I have this pocket here. Christmas. This is a digital. Um, I can. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't remember who I got that from. Um, I'll try to remember to link it below. There's a pocket. Another pocket. Let me see it. So now we're going to try to figure out some things to put in here. <clears throat> we need some belly bands and some corners and some over the tops. There's lots of good space in here. Lots. All right. Think. I wish I could remember. These are gorgeous, but I didn't use these in there because they, I didn't think they went. This was a really pretty digital that I got. Um, okay, let's get our pink scraps out. See if I can put that somewhere. Pretty sure I got enough <clears throat> pockets. I wonder if I could put this on the back. How would that be? And then that's kind of like a little secret compartment that opens with all that in it. Because this is this is too heavy to put on a page. I think I like that. Yes, I think I like that right there. It will just be mounted. I really need to center up my... I should have pressed it and gave it a good... Should a chalk pencil in here? It's gonna be my center. That'll, that's not gonna show. It'll be in the. I really think I am gonna do this. I think I'm gonna put this right here. I think that'll be great. Cause there's nothing on the back. See, that's just a full book page I made that out of. Let's do it. Let's do it. I slept a little too late this morning. I woke up. Oh, God. I found the coolest channel. I watch YouTube on my TV and I found this thing I don't, I don't guess it I guess it's a channel it's like a fireplace so you just got this big huge fire roaring and crackling on your TV oh it was it's it's just it's the bomb <laughs> so I had it on about five this morning when I woke up and it just got so warm and cozy in there, I went back to sleep. <laughs> I know 
know that doesn't make sense, but I love a fire. Now see, I can get that sewn in. And that will be that, and you flip over here. And that will be in the back. I like that. I really like that. All right. We need something for the front. Do we want to put another, like, pocket? Or some of these big images? Like these. I can't do that one, I already got it. How would that look in the front? Maybe this one? Let's see if the other one is the same. I think there's two. Well, we could put a front door on there. See, I don't like these back here. because They're ugly. Hmm. Well, either I've already torn... Yeah, they're, yeah, they're both the same. Duh. I don't feel like I need Santa because he's right there. I can't use this one because it's right there. I don't care for Noel. So, should we do the house? Just maybe put some lace around it. Let's see what we can come up with. just kind of not sure of, of how I want to do that. I kind of want to pocket. I think I want to make something kind of big like this to go here. Something kind of stiff. So what if we what if we did something like this and then pull that up like that? I like that. I like that. Okay, we need to fold it. So, okay, I might have to trim that down just a skosh. Let's do it with these.
these are some old creative memories scissors and I'm tell you they have just about about cut their last piece of paper but they still chugging along they want to hang up on the end and get locked up on me but if you hold your mouth just right they'll cut that's what you have to do with old stuff you have to pet it now see that's cute right there I need to trim this Well, Scooter my Daisy Winks. That needs to be in the garbage. Isn't that awful? Just mess that all up. I'll be glad when Santa gets here with my new trimmer. He needs to take the freeway. Ugh, that just boogered that up and I don't like it. Hey, I got enough room. I could trim a little more. Let's trim a little more. Look there how things work out. I'm sorry I'm not in camera. I'm like laid back in my chair like it's recliner. Sorry. Let me scoot it up. Now, isn't that cute? Um, there's some pages in, in this journal that I did that are avocado dyed. And I'll show you those in just a second. They are... I, I was not as pleased with my avocado dyeing as I thought. I don't... I don't know. I guess they looked okay. But what I did is I, I put them on and boiled them in just a little bit, you know, and they kept boiling the water out. So I, I poured it up to keep it. And then I added more water to my avocados and boiled them again. And I did that like three times and I got like three different shades. So I'm sure that that first um, batch would have been great, but when I started to do it, instead of just dumping the first batch in my pan, I dumped all three of them in a big tub like an idiot. So that's probably why I was not pleased with it. I mean, they're okay, they're, they're pale, pale pink, you know, like, you would think, but I think they would have been a little bit pinker had I not mixed them. But I was getting greedy. I wanted to make a whole bunch. What is wrong with you? So, that's what I do. I get impatient and I'm in a hurry and got to get through, got to see the finish. I have to see the finished product. I have to see results pretty quick. See, that's cute. And we can move it way out like our back one is. Should I stitch around this? I 
think I might. Okay. We're going to stitch around this little pocket. So it'll be cutesy. Cutesy, cutesy. that. That's cute. Okay. Got us a cute little stitch around that. Now I think that I'm going to glue this down and put it close to the edge just like we did that one. So it gives us plenty of folding room in here. So let's get on. I'm using Fabri-Tac because we're gluing onto fabric and we want it to hold very well. I like that a lot. This is too white in here. Well, I should have used one of these. They work better in, in a small area. have nothing nice. Okay. Now we can make us some tags to go in here. something pretty right here. Ooh, like if this look, this look, this book belongs to I think I want, I think I want white. White or cream lace? I've got cream over here. Huh. I 
white on the outside though. Oh, mercy. I do think I want some of this across there now. Like this. like that. I do. I do, I do. Then we could put one of these or this across it. Maybe with something else behind it. Just a little bit of something on that. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. <laughs> if you guys could see the mess that's just outside of your view you would be cracking up at me I just feel like I need a little something behind that just to let's just look at this and see what's up cover up too much of my lace that's too big okay, okay now we gotta cut short lines oh I just golly I just barely but you know what I think that's what I want I'm gonna cut this right here and then I'm gonna fray it It's just barely hanging out. I think I might have did a little too much. Because I wanted it like that, but just a little bit more. Hey, what about this kind? grungy stuff. Alright, I'm going to make sure I don't get it too small this time. Okay, we want it about right there. Yes, that's better. Save that one for later. And 
Now this might be too big. Oh my gosh. I think it's okay. I think I'm going to go with it. Okay, then I'll see which side goes up. Oh, I'm glad I looked. This is the better side. Emma, sit down. Do not like the way my glue is coming out. It's acting like it's not come out in a pretty little line for me. Okay, when that dries, I'm going to trim that up a little because I don't want it to hang over like that. I want it to be, or do I? Who knows? Gosh, who knows? Now, this is just a piece of coffee dyed. It's not really muslin because I think this is maybe muslin. It's... What is it? What is it? What is it? Just that thin material. Cheap. Thin material. Broadcloth. Something. Cotton. Everybody's trying to take a nap. Really? Wake up. We got gluing to do. There we go. Okay, I like that for the inside. Now we got to think of something really cool to do on the front that will be pretty. All right, now we can lay that aside and we can work on some things to go inside. Okay, we need some tags for this. I think 
think I want to make a notepad right here with this and this and I'm going to leave it that long so how long we got one, two, three, four, five, six inches. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to get these as close to the top as we can. They're torn, so they're not going to be the same. <clears throat> I found this um, paper tape at the thrift store. I don't know if people still use adding machine tape or not. But now, I was using my little stapler because my Tim Holtz, I'm still out of little staples for it. That's another thing Santa needs to hurry. He needs to take the freeway down. Okay, now. See, we can put that in there like that. I might trim it. Should we trim it? Let's. Now I'm not putting it all the way in the in the fold, the crease, so we have a room for that to lay and not be in a bind. All right, now let's trim the bottom. Oh, come on, let's do this. They're like, you're kidding me. That is too many. Oh, you guys can do it. There you go. Look at there. Huh? That's how you do that. How about that? What y'all think? Now we can stick that right down in the pocket. I wonder if I need to put something on it, like a little... You know what we should do? We should poke a hole in that. Yep. We should poke a hole right there. And we should cut these corners just a little. Don't let everybody get upset. Look at there. Now we're going to do this one. Oh. Why don't you shake a little bit? We can put a little piece of ribbon in there. We need a little something on the front, too. Just a little bit of something, something. I think. What do we want? That? Him? Let's do the poinsettia. I'm not sure.
if that's exactly what we want to do, but somebody got some glue on my table. <clears throat> okay, now let me get us some ribbon or something to go. I forgot what we used. What did we use? So what I do with that cover? Oh, there it is. I can't remember. I used that there, and I used some white. Oh. oh. terrible when things is going the wrong direction. <clears throat> They're going that way, that way too. Let's I mean, this was supposed to be kind of easy. I'm struggling with that gold around that. I just don't care for that gold. I haven't used my glue stick in so long. My glue book's buried over here. I put my music book up. I just want one little piece of music. So <gasps> I see one. I'll see one. Down there with some possum stew. Now, if I had something Christmassy, maybe like the Santa. I think I might do the Santa now that I got a base. Yep. 
It's all about Santa. Should I cut it out? Oh yeah, I should cut it out because I don't like that gold. What do I do with those little scissors? I don't know. I think we're running out of time, guys. I think I've kept you long enough today. I think this tag might be it. We might have to finish up later. Oh, I know what I want. I want some of this stuff right here. <coughs> some of this stuff. I don't know that I have any anywhere. So I'm just going to cut a little off this. Well, there we go. Okay. Still think that's probably too big. But I think that's two. It is. It's still two. I think we can pull them apart. Yup. That was it. It was too spalded. So I'm thinking that this is gauze. Just some coffee dyed gauze. Yes, that's better. <clears throat> okay, I just want to do this. So I'm going to put some other I'm going to put some good stuff on this one. I'm going to have to clean that top. It's really windy outside. Okay. Now, we're just going to get us a little piece of some ribbon or something to go there. Just a little. Is this too much? This one. Is that too much? Nah. But you know what? I don't think I'm going to stick it through the hole. I think we're just going to do a little staple, staple roux. go with a little notepad. We can get it to stop bending that way. Now where did we decide we wanted to put that? Did anybody know? <clears throat> I think we were just making stuff to go in stuff. So, is it here? Here. Maybe 
was here. I kind of like this better. Maybe up. Okay, guys. I think that's all we're going to get to do today. Thanks for crafting with me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.